Welcome to the wild, wild west. From guns to gold mines, we're in the wild, wild west. Let's go. So you're thinking, <laughs> so you're ready to be living in the Valley of the Sun. Well, I'll tell you, you are coming to the wild, wild west. Hi, my name's Nicole. I'm with HomeSmart and we get calls, texts, and emails every day from people wanting and needing to move to the Valley of the Sun. We love to help you. And in this video, I'm going to get to the nitty gritty about living in Arizona. Because again, you're in the wild, wild west. Things are just a little different around here. And make sure you stick with me throughout the video so you can hear a couple of my favorite Arizona jokes and a fun few facts like this one. You can tell the age of the saguaro cactus by its arms. Now even though Arizona is the wild wild west, it's actually one of the newest states. Arizona is state number 48. Founded in 1912. We've definitely kept the Wild West feel with our very loose gun laws and our beautiful wild horses. Arizona has a strong job market with a thriving and diverse economy. There is strong focus on innovation and technology and is home to many renowned companies such as Intel, Microchip, PayPal, and so much more. As of January 2024, there are 83 airports in Arizona, 58 of those being publicly owned. Homeowners associations, known as HOAs, and Arizona has a significant number of planned communities that are governed by homeowners associations. I didn't make up the Karen joke, but it really holds true in this scenario. It is very important to review and understand the HOA documents, rules, and regulations before purchasing a home if the home you're interested in is part of an HOA. There are some outlandish covenants that are in there from having a basketball hoop in your driveway to renting out your home to parking in the street and you're going to want to know those rules. Arizona has an abundance of wildlife including the roadrunner, the coyote, the javelina which is not related to the pig, quail birds, bobcats, 
and these little stinkers right here. All right, so if you guys can see that, they shine really, 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 really bright. So that will help you if you're ever outside looking for them. They really, truly glow. And then you just gotta make sure you kill them good. There we go, so I'm gonna try for us. Say that um, a scorpion carries its babies on its back. And so what you wanna do is kill it with tape. So that way, if when you stab it, there's babies, um, it sticks to the tape and they don't roll everywhere. All right, scorpions, 101. Off-roading is one of the many thrills of living here in Arizona. One of the first joys we had when we moved here from Ohio. You can just take your car and hopefully a truck and take one of the roads right off into the mountains. Talk about getting one with nature and being with the Wild West. And speaking of Wild West, we really keep that with our gun laws. Arizona is a permitless carry state. Now, what that means is that anyone who can legally own or possess a firearm can carry it concealed without any type of permit or license. Hmm, that's right. Arizona residents are not required to obtain a license or register in order to purchase or own a gun. And if you're 18, you can purchase a legal firearm from a private individual. Oh, and you can legally buy two guns a day. How about that? And we do have all four seasons they just happen to be all in one day and since we have all four seasons in one day here's your dressing help and that's how it's done Come enjoy more than 300 days of sunshine per year. Mild winters with snow you can drive to and leave at your convenience and beautiful summers. This weather is ideal for outdoor activities. It's also why Arizona is known as a golfing state. Okay. If you need something to do with the family, I highly recommend golfing. This is truly lots of fun! Ah! Okay, have a great day everyone! <laughs> There are over 370 golf courses in Arizona with beautiful courses all over the valley. Scottsdale and Phoenix, known as the most golf-rich cities, boasting about 200 courses. Haboob. Now it is fun to say, but it can be very dangerous and cause a lot of damage. It's a powerful dust storm common during monsoon season. Monsoon season runs typically from June through September. And it's going to bring the higher humidity, which leads to our fascinating lightning storms, more thunderstorms, high winds in the dust storms, and heavy rain bringing on those flash floods. The flash flooding can be pretty extreme, but almost everywhere it does drain quickly. 
Now, almost anywhere you live in the valley, you're going to have easy access to a major freeway. And the best part is our freeways are technically free. That's right. There are no tolls on our highways. You can get on and off anywhere you want and not pay a dime. And best yet, ADOT, Arizona Department of Transportation, has kindly given us an HOV lane, which is used for carpooling. And there are specific hours for the use of this carpool lane. So make sure you pay attention to those hours and days, because outside of those hours and days, it is technically the furthest passing lane the very fast lane. Sometimes it's a really hard concept for us residents to understand. So many of the neighborhoods have walking and biking paths. They're beautifully landscaped. Not only are there an abundance of top-rated schools, most of them are nestled within the neighborhoods, allowing easy access for walking and biking to schools. Beautifully tree-lined streets and well-maintained neighborhoods will be found all throughout cities in Arizona. And so many offer just a beautiful sense of community. When I think the desert, I definitely don't think of greenery. But I would tell you, it might not be back east green, but I'm pretty impressed with how green it is and gets here. It's truly lovely. Now, Arizona does have some unique aspects when it comes to real estate transactions compared to other states. In Arizona, we do not use an attorney for real estate transactions. We uh, actually use escrow companies. Now, escrow companies are a neutral third party that hold the funds and the documents until all the terms of the contract are met. The escrow company is also the same company as the title company. They are one in the same. Arizona is a non-disclosure state when it comes to property sales. And that means that the sales price of the residential properties is not publicly disclosed and can remain confidential. We have title insurance. Arizona also has specific disclosure requirements for sellers. Sellers are required to disclose any known material facts or defects about the property that could affect its value or desirability to any potential buyers. And these disclosures must be made in writing. We call that the SPUDs. If you're buying a property with the intention of renting it out, understanding the state's landlord-tenant laws is crucial. I put the link for the Residential Landlord and Tenant Act in the description of this video. And to make Arizona even more desirable, Arizona has a state tax of only 
from gated communities to the wide open country living. Arizona has a lifestyle for all. You're gonna find multiple cities offering a high quality of life and strong sense of community, making it an ideal place to raise a family. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you next time.